Hello, my name is Gary Oakes, and here is a quick WordPress tutorial called Broken Link Checker. This is a really useful plugin. For instance, if you have a website, similar to this one perhaps, and you click on a link that may be broken, so I click on the link, and the link is definitely broken. It was meant to take me to a particular page, but it's now not. Either the page no longer exists, or, or the address has been spelled incorrectly. But either way, it's the link is broken. It could be the same for videos on YouTube or any link on your website. So to keep your website clean, it is very useful to be able to discover where these broken links are and manage them accordingly. So let's understand a bit more about how we can install the plugin, configure it and use it. First of all, you will need to go into your dashboard, plugins and install new or add new. In the keyword search bar, type in broken link checker. And it's this one here. I must admit, it now appears to be out of date, but it's still very useful and still very popular. In fact, out of all the ones that are shown here, this one is really still useful. If you would like to know more details, click on the more details link. and it will tell you more about the broken link checker here. As I said, it's already warning you that it's not been tested on the latest version of WordPress. You can still use it. I'm still using it and it's still working. Read it at your leisure. I'm just going to close this. When you're ready, you need to install it. You should see a button looking like this, install now. I've already installed it, so I'm just now going to activate it. So once you've installed it, you'll need to configure it. There are two ways to get to the settings. There's the settings here under the plugins menu. And under settings, the link checker settings is at the bottom here. So let's now go into settings. You have some general configuration here. You can have the link check every 70 hours. I'm going to leave that. I'd also like to have email notification. And I've already set up my email address through WordPress. In fact, I'm going to leave all of those the same. Look for links in. We have comments, pages, and posts. That's fine by me. Link type. I'm going to put embedded YouTube videos and old video codes as well. So I'm going to add those two and I'm going to save. You can check the whole lot if you wish to. The protocols and APIs, I'm going to leave those as they are. On advanced, I'm going to change this to administrator and I'm going to leave the rest the same and I'm going to save changes. If we go back to the general tab, already it's saying it's found one broken link, which is interesting. So let's discover a bit more about that. So where do we go? If we go to tools and then we see broken links. So there it is. That was the, the link I checked on earlier, and it took me to a page that was not found. Hence, that's what it's telling me here. So we can do a number of things here. We can view where the link is broken. So if we go to view, it'll take me to the page, which is the link to Catchbox Pro link. This is the page. It's made it easy for us because it's actually put a line through the broken link. It's not so easy when a video link is broken you'll have to go a bit deeper into that one. But in terms of text links, it will put a line through it. So it already tells you which one is broken. And because we've already tested this, and it does take you to a page not found, we know that is the case, that that is the broken link. So what can we do? Well, we can edit the URL. We can unlink it. We can say, actually, it's not broken. Dismiss it or recheck. So. It may be worth rechecking. And actually, it's still saying it's broken. Now, I know for a fact the reason it's broken is because this is meant to have an H after the C. So if I now go to edit the URL and put the H where it should be, if I put an H there and update, let's recheck the link. it's now saying it's okay. So we can now dismiss 
or we'll say it's not broken, which it isn't, it's not broken. And that's how you go around sorting out the broken links. It will tell you how many warnings there are. So there are a couple of warnings here, gate, bad gateway, and all of these actually mean something. So if you go into the details, it will tell you a bit more about maybe the issue, how many times it's actually failed, some more information here. So there's quite a lot of information telling you about the broken link. How many redirects? So these are the ones that are all being redirecting. What's really important on this particular site though, there are 205 links. So it's been well, quite well maintained. There are 19 redirects, two dismissed and two warnings and zero broken. So it's a very good way to maintain your links on your site. Sometimes it takes a bit of research to find where the broken link is, but you have the facilities here to, to do all of this with the details. You can edit it and you can view it. So just to prove the link actually works, let's go back to the site. And here was the link that was broken. So I'll click on the link. So now to check that the link actually works, we're now back onto the page. The line has gone. If I click the link, It'll now take me to the page I was expecting to see. So that's how it works. So that's the Broken Link Checker plugin. I find it very useful. I'm not too sure why it's no longer being maintained, but it's still working on the current version I have of WordPress. So it's still a useful one to use. Hope you found the video useful. I'll see you on the next one. Bye for now.